Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta just went live, so it's time for me to bring the first impressions video. Short disclaimer before we start though, this was my first round that I have ever played in this game, so apologize if I do something stupid, like running into the wrong directions, running out of the map, or not being able to find enemies. I didn't know how the map looks like before I launched the game. The full version of the game is scheduled to be released on the 17th of November, and if you don't have the pre-order, you will be able to join beta on the 6th of October. Which means that you will be able to test the game out during the upcoming weekend, so let's get right into it. The first thought I got after launching this game was that it's casual. But is it a bad thing? Not necessarily. If you came from other games like Battlefield, Call of Duty or even Battlegrounds and you want Star Wars to replace them, this is not gonna happen. The game plays out totally different from all the other games that we have currently on our gaming market. It doesn't require that much effort when it comes to shooting or handling weapons in general, but then again, you have to pay a lot of attention to the special abilities of your class and how to use them effectively, which isn't really that easy of a task if you have to do it in the combat situations. The game offers us 4 class system and you can choose between Assault, Heavy, Officer and Specialist, which is the Sniper class. Those are the basic trooper classes and those will be the only ones that you will be able to spawn with at the beginning of the rounds. Then, during playing the game, you will be able to accumulate so-called battle points, which are the in-game currency that allow you to purchase additional classes to play with during the round such as hero characters, for example Boba Fett, or you can go with the advanced versions of your classes available for your fraction and let's say for the droids, you can deploy as battle droid and provide more firepower for your team. And not only do those battle points allow you to play with special characters, you can also spawn in the ground vehicles or aircraft, which can totally change the flow of the round and add a lot more variety to the combat. I know that there are some of you who are worried about the playability of the game since we have so many classes in the rotation, but I have to say that this is pretty well balanced, especially considering the fact that those special classes that you can buy with battle points, and naturally vehicles as well, only last for one lifetime. So after you die, you need to accumulate those points once again if you want to deploy as the special class. But there is a lot more to the class system than that. Every single class available in the game has their own set of skills or abilities that you are able to utilize during the game. Those are balanced with cooldowns, so there is no need to resupply such things as grenades because those will come back automatically or resupply automatically after the cooldown finishes. When it comes to the weapon arsenal in the game, weapons are class specific, meaning you have to play certain class to use certain weapons. I'm not gonna go over every single one of them to explain what weapons they can use and what special abilities they have, this is the topic for another video, but to give you an example how those abilities are combined with weapons and class, you can see me playing with heavy class using some kind of machine gun and the special abilities I use are the shield protecting me from enemy bullets, the machine gun allowing me to fire a massive amount of bullets while becoming a pretty much stationary target, which is barely able to move. And as for the third ability, I had an impact grenade, which, as we all know, makes enemies go kaboom. Every other class in the game has a tailored set of perks which is specifically designed to increase the abilities of the class. Let's say you choose to play as a sniper, your perks will allow you to spot enemies easier. And it basically works the same for every other class. Alright, but how do you actually obtain battle points, allowing you to purchase those special classes? This is quite simple. All you need to do is play the objective, help out your teammates, kill the enemies, and you will get those points eventually. I hope you understood everything I've just talked about. It might sound a bit complicated, but once you get into the game, you will learn it instantly. When it comes to the graphics and sounds in this game, DICE did a great job once again. The immersion is simply insane, especially if you choose to play with music enabled, which I sadly can't show you due to the copyrights on the music. You might ask now, what would happen if you played with the music enabled during your gameplay and you posted the video? The answer to that is pretty short, there wouldn't be a video 
because YouTube would take it down. Even optimization of the game in beta is good, which is surprising. I was getting somewhere around 90 to 100 frames, of course in the lowest settings, but then again. I'm playing on the GTX 770 and Intel Core i5 2500K, which is like what, 5 year old PC? Talking about game modes available to play in this game, I had only chance to try out the Galactic Assault game mode and I know there is way more than that, but those are first impressions and those are filmed after the first round. The structure of the game mode is pretty simple and it's like Rush. You have attacking team and you have defending team. The map is linear and the attackers have to push back defenders to take their objectives and defenders have to defend those objectives from attackers, preventing them from capturing them. This is the simple explanation of it, but I'm not gonna go into details because I wouldn't have enough time to do it in this video. Generally the game mode is very intensive and you have tons of action all the time. You don't have to run for 2 minutes to find someone or the objective, you spawn and you have like 100 to 200 meters to get into the actual battle, which makes the game fast paced and doesn't leave a moment to get bored. You can choose to play the game either in the first person or the third person mode, but as we all know, in general, the third person is a lot more effective than the first one. You can look behind corners, peeking is way easier if you know what is waiting for you behind this cover, and there is a lot more to that, but overall, it doesn't really make much sense to play in the first person against people using third person. I know that there are players out there who will complain that they like first person more and that the third person is for the noobs and it's casual. Well, deal with it guys. It's Battlefront and it has the third person option. And how does it feel to play Battlefront 2 after playing Battlefield games for thousands of hours? Well, I have to admit it's different and it's not even comparable, like I can't even find similarities in those games. Because there is no recoil in this game, there is no spread, weapons shoot like lasers and the time to kill is so high that it really takes a moment before you finish off the full health enemy. Also the whole ability system is something completely different that I have never experienced in any other shooter game. Or maybe I have, but it wasn't similar to what we have in Battlefront. I admit that I was skeptical towards this game and I didn't think that it will play out this well. Even though the game is casual and there is no skill gap or skill required to play it effectively, the gameplay is somehow appealing to me and I enjoy playing it. And as you know me guys, I like to criticize games and point out things that I don't like about them, but I don't see them right away in Battlefront. Of course, there will be some problems with the game I haven't played it enough just to notice them yet, but those aren't that significant. There aren't any game breaking weapons, or at least those available in the beta aren't game breaking, classes are properly balanced and there isn't one which is standing out being better than the others. Of course this might change because we are in the beta stage and we haven't seen a full weapon arsenal yet. They might also add heroes which will be more powerful than the current ones or just simply game modes will not be balanced on the other maps. I can't properly judge the game if I have only played the beta. But comparing Battlefront's 2 beta to the previous betas released by DICE, this is one of the best betas ever, if not the best. The other ones they gave us were either unoptimized, netcode was terrible and they were barely in the playable state and Battlefront's 2 beta works like a fully developed game. And that would be it for my first impressions about it guys. Some of you suggested that I should record Battlefronts to single player storyline, of course with my live commentary, and if you want that to happen, there is a poll in the right upper corner of the screen where you can vote if you want me to do it or maybe you don't want me to do it. Just so you know guys, if I were to do such thing, those would be posted in a form of 20 minute gameplays released every other day. Also, if you have any suggestions for the videos that you would like me to record from the beta, make sure to leave down the comment and as always guys, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the battlefront!